All right. Uh, I am here with some Lethal League Blaze. It just came out today, and as uh, you may know, if you've watched me stream before, you know anything about me, I really like the original Lethal League. Um, I played it a whole butt ton when it first came out on PC, and uh, I also played it a whole butt ton more when it came out on PS4. Um, if you like look at my Steam profile, for some reason it only says I did 10 hours on Steam, which is like definitely not true. Um, I've played way more than that, but I don't know why it says that. So, um, it's basically, it's very similar to the first Lethal League in terms of feel, but the mechanics work a little bit differently. Um, all of the characters from the first game are returning, uh, like Dice, Latch, Sonata, Switch, Raptor, and Candyman. Um, there are some new characters, uh, technically three, four if you want to get crazy. Um, Jet is the only one that's unlocked off the bat. Excuse me. You get um, currency the more you play different modes and stuff. So then you use those to unlock uh, Grid and Nitro. Doombox was like the final boss character slash like you could use a cheat to unlock him in the previous game. Uh, he seems to be a more full-fledged character in this. But um, I was doing story mode uh, earlier. I think I'm just going to mess around and do arcade some more. I... Uh, I had already beaten arcade mode with Latch just to get a feel for what the mechanics are like. I still don't quite understand all of the new stuff, uh, but I will see if I can figure it out. I So I actually, I think Jet is uh, pretty cool. Ooh, I don't know what the hell happened there. Something smashed the mic. So that, like that's her super, and I don't really get it. It like puts the ball in a bubble. So you may notice right away that one of the main differences is it's uh, like 2.5D, where the first one was just 2D. Um, so like they're all 3D models. And it does the Guilty Gear thing where it like zooms in on each kill, which I think is pretty sick. Um, but yeah, I like the angle of her smash attack. Plus, I mean, this game has music by Hideki Naganuma, and she just looks like a Jet Set Radio Future character, so I'm on board. But yeah, so like right off the bat, uh, in the previous game, every time you got hit by the ball, you would lose a stock. Um, that is not the case in this one. The faster the ball is going, the more health it will take, so you don't immediately lose a stock. Like, it was kind of annoying, uh, especially if you're playing a four-person game in the original, where you would basically start off clash with someone and then die immediately. That no longer happens. So you'll get hit with the ball and do a little bit of knockback. But if you watch the health bars closely, when the ball is going fast enough to get a kill, that character's health will flash. Oh boy, I'm out of practice. I haven't played Lethal League in a bit. Oh, I'm controlling the ball. Oh, So yeah, there's, there's power-ups as well, so it's a little bit, I don't know, they're really leaning into the smash element, like there's some cool, fun power-ups. That one I had never gotten before, uh, there's one that heals you, so like you kind of just run around and try not to let them take it so that you can heal your HP. There's one that makes the ball just go super quick. Oh shit, all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, super moves still the same, uh, when you get full meter, which is usually after four hits, you double tap the button and use it. Uh, regular hits still the same, you can charge it up like a smash attack in Smash Brothers. Um, one thing that I've noticed that is different, and I don't know if it's actually, like, 
totally the case. In the first game, each character had a special, like, movement type. Um, and only Sonata had a double jump, but now it seems like every character has a double jump. Jet here has a jet pack, you know, aptly named. So she can do all kinds of crazy aerial stuff. But they all have a double jump now. So it seems like they still do have like a special movement thing though, so I wonder what Sonata's is now. I haven't really played as her. Because Latch can still climb on walls, and it seems like Switch can still like go up onto the ceiling. It's, it's a lot more like a fighting game now. Um, it, it has like more mechanics and the mind games get deeper. Like the bunt is still in effect along with those special move types and the supers. But the, one of the main new things is there is also a catch button. So you can kind of just catch the ball out of thin air like that and then they pitch it at them. So you can use it to like bait things. Uh, I don't know what all the mechanics are yet, so it's there. there's this weird one, uh, I have to like use money to buy the how to play V2 thing, which seems kind of stupid because I just want to see what the mechanics are. There's like a weird thing that you can do if you push the button at the right time when you get up. And another thing you can do in the air that seems kind of like a burst in Guilty Gear, and I just, I just don't know how to do it. It's probably like all the buttons together at the same time like it is in Guilty Gear, I'll try it in the next match, but... Yeah, all the stages are very cool. I like most of the new music. Uh, the I, I don't know if Hideki Naganuma did more music, because I, I still have music I can unlock, but uh, the track that he did uh, is really sick. I like it a lot. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, this football power-up makes it the... All the weird football, so then it bounces all dumb. Oh boy. AI is probably on normal, so it's not that great, but at least it gives me the... I can get a feel for Jet without getting dumpstered. Um, it seems like each character has three special costumes, and one of those special costumes is unlocked by beating Arcade with them. So at some point, I'll probably go through and beat Arcade with every character, but... I did it with Latch, because he was my old main, and I'm doing it here with Jet, because I didn't want to go right into the story mode. Uh... And I just want to see what the new character is like. I'm kind of bummed because, like, I normally I'm all for unlocking characters in games because I think it gives it, like, a little bit more, like, makes it feel special in a way. But in this, when you're going from a roster of characters that was so small in the first one and then when most of the new characters you can't play right off the bat, it's kind of a bummer. I played Nitro uh, once in story mode, and he seems kind of cool. Uh, not my style of character, but Grid looks fucking crazy, and I did not see him. Yeah, see, like, I did that there. I, like, basically stole the ball from him with some special ability, but I have no idea how or why that happened. Invisible ball, that makes that, like, impossible to see and react to. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I like the angles of her shots. She seems pretty sick. I don't know, I like using latch still, but I want to try, try new stuff. So I might try to find a new main. And also one thing I need to get better at is every time I have my super I just use it right away. And that is not good. Also part of it is just the way that I I jump and then hit. Sometimes the game thinks I'm doing it twice. 
but that was an issue I also had in the original. So after I beat Arcade here, I will unlock the advanced training so I can see the mechanics that I do not understand, and then I'll probably unlock a grid because of all the characters. I want to see what he's like. Uh, yeah, I'll probably unlock grid, then Nitro, and then Doombox. I'm the, le I'm the least interested in Doombox because I already know what he looks like and what he plays like. Because he basically just seems like what he was in the first one when you would use the code to unlock him, but... Just more balanced, I guess. Like, it doesn't seem like a total shit show. I mean, he was kind of weird in the first one. Like, he, he was really powerful, but I never thought he was as broken as most of my friends did. Like, he, um... I don't know, his hitbox is, like, huge. Like, it's absurd. But yeah, I'll, I'll at least play this over the next couple of days, because we are going to play this for Extra Life, and I would like to have all the characters unlocked. We'll see how it goes. Let's roll. Dice. Are you ready? Play ball. You. Oh, see, like, what was that? And there, I hit it at the right time. I don't know, man. I just have I have so many questions. Oh man, I can't even get away from it. Oh boy. Yeah, I. They really like. They committed to a style, and I like the style that they they went with. I really like Jet, man. The more I the more I play her, the more I like her. But I also felt that way about Dice when Dice came out, because he wasn't in the original Lethal League at launch. I added him a bit later. I'm hyped because I I personally I really like the original Lethal League, and I, I only knew a handful of people outside of, like, my friend group that had ever even played or heard of it. Like, no, like, real major video game sites or anything seemed to be, like, speaking the Lethal League gospel, you know what I mean? And, uh... It was just a PC game, so I didn't know how well it did, and then it came out on PS4, and, like, it didn't seem like I could find no online matches in the PS4 version, even, like, the day it came out. But just, like, one or two other people were playing, and it bummed me out, man. So I, I thought, for some reason, that it, it hadn't done well for them, but then they announced the sequel, and right now, obviously, it's release day, but it's uh, one of the top-selling games on Steam right at this moment. So I hope this does well for them. Uh, I personally thought that it was coming out for the PS4 and Switch today as well, but it only came out on Steam, and those versions come out in the spring, which is okay. I just, that kind of gap, I don't know how it's going to pan out. But I'm, I'm in the Team Reptile Discord, and they have said that they're going to add more characters and things like that, so I I hope that it does well and that they can keep adding a bunch more, because I was hoping that that would happen in the first one as well, and then it was really only dice.
And I, I really like dice, so if they, if they can make new character, cool and unique characters, like, I am on board, man. So that's another thing that I really like is... In the original, the ball would get going fast, and it would always look the same. Um, the screen would get kind of like uh, inverted colors or like blacker, sort of. But in this, it has a bunch of stage-specific ones. Like, this stage specifically is the only one where I've really noticed it, per se. Uh, but the ball will get going faster and the cop cars will come up. And so, then once it slows down, the cop cars all drive away. And, like, that that kind of touch... I'm a big fan of. See, what is... He keeps doing that thing where, like, it's a big blue spiral. And I would say, like, maybe that's just one of Nitro's animations. But I also, in a match... Jeez. In a match against Candyman, that happened as well. So it is not character specific. It's gonna take me forever to remember that you can double jump. Forever. Oh yeah, hopefully this AI guy will do some cool stuff, because I think Grid looks sick. Electric Wolverine, basically. Oh, get blasted on, my guy. Ooh, eat it. Personally, I'm very excited to see competitive level play in this game. Uh, just because before, you could always predict when the ball was going to be ready to hit, especially at higher speeds because of the boombox at the bottom. When the bar fills all the way up, that's when it's ready to be hit. And so if you were a good enough player, you could always predict that. But now, you can totally fuck over the other person by grabbing or doing some other weird stuff. And so you'll have to make more hard reads and things like that, and it'll make it a little bit more interesting at the higher skill levels. What? fighting my clone character here. You can you can use the right stick to do some preset things, which seems like it's mostly for online play, but you can say like nice oops. Sorry and something else. Oh, does it make it so... Oh, boy. It looks like it makes it so that they can't hit it. They're super. I guess Anna gets more speedy out of that. What? You can clash with the freaking grab? Oh, boy. I'm getting dumpstered by my body double. 
I had to try to stop grabbing it and just go. Oh. No way. See? That's the thing I don't know how to do. Oh, perfect get up. What? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. See? Oh, I haven't played in so long. I misjudged it by like one second. Dang, two continues. With Latch, I didn't even die once, even on Doombox. Total scrub. I gotta figure out when it's like appropriate to grab it. Shit, are you serious? No way. What level is this AI? This is normal? Come on, man. That was absurd. Yeah, and even making it faster is riskier now because it's like if you have lower health like there even as fast as that was she was never going to die from it she would have had to take two hits and see whatever the hell that was it made it clash so I couldn't do anything boy a lot of mechanics to get used to I'm just good with latch, I guess. I body my double with latch. What? If I am going to use her, i got to get more in the habit of using the jetpack as well. Uh, 
freaking doom box. Play ball. He's just such a big boy and his stupid limbs. I'm gonna get trashed. Ugh. One of the reasons I do so well with Latch is because of his super. Because it's just, you grab the ball and hold on to it, and if it's going at such high speeds, it's really easy to totally destroy people with it. I can see myself getting into big trouble if I keep trying to use her, uh, her jetpack. Why the mic seems like it keeps maxing out. I'm gonna have to look at that. Because it's definitely not anything that I am doing. He's interfering with it. Got him. Got him. Maybe the mic is just too high. Game. Oh, did I win? The mic is definitely picking up the audio of the uh, of the game though. Oh, I should have let that play. That's the Hideki Naganuma. Round. Oh, I can't play those stages? Huh, just the old ones? Or most of the old ones? Interesting. Oh, I was gonna unlock Grid! Man, I totally botched it. Nitro's okay, though. Are you ready? Play ball. You can aim bunts by holding left or right. Okay. Really? Oh man, you can't. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I knew that. Mm hmm.
Did this break? I am frozen in the air, so I guess we'll try that again. That's a bug. I guess I'll just have to stand here and wait for the tutorial? Oh boy. Snap! That's how it works. So then you would want to save meter for that instead of a super. And it makes it so that you clash. That's pretty sick. Counter the parry with a throw. Oh man, the the mind games were even deeper than I thought. That's wild. All right, see, I never, I never would have known that. And now I'm gonna have to look at this again because. Yeah, something is making the uh, the volume on my mic go all the way up. I don't know why that is. Okay. I guess I'll continue with the story a bit. Um, I'll skip through these ones. I'm just doing these because to get the check mark, you have to play as both characters. So the first time I played as Sonata. But it's basically just like a weird little visual novel about the world of Lethal League, which I appreciate because I, I think it's an interesting world. It's basically they played this baseball sport and someone got killed and then they made it illegal and their weird future government made it illegal. And so now they're basically just underground street gangs. I wonder if each character has a different throw range. See, and now that there are the parries, I have to be much more careful about not using my super every time. Parry. That's what I like to see, man. That's wild. Come on. Oh. I did not predict that correctly. Too slow. Yep. 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 Yep
according to the story, it seems like they have various teams, and I can't remember what their team is called, but it's Raptor and Switch, which is interesting. In the last game, I thought that bunting was totally useless, personally, but this one, it seems like it is much more... ...something that you want to be using a lot. So yeah, it's basically just a bunch of... ...I don't know, weird stuff. Switching Raptor or training. And then Jet comes and says, like, oh man, my whole team was just busted recently. Nitro is like an ex-cop, and he thinks that Switch stole some tape, but then he realizes that he's not the person he was looking for after this match. Hit it from anywhere? Interesting. I accidentally unlocked Nitro instead of Grid. I'm so salty. I just wanted to do arcade mode with Grid. Oh, I didn't look to see if I unlocked uh, uh, the ability to buy one of the special costumes for Jet. It seems like each character has three special costumes that cost like 900. Um, the one for when I beat Arcade with Latch, it unlocked the third one. I would assume that most of the other people get it from story mode, like Switch here. There was one from story mode. Is that a check mark for everything here? I'd already seen this. Alright, check mark for all those there, but let me see. Aw oh, man, what? She doesn't have any special ones? That's so sad. Unless that one's different. 1600? Holy crap. Because, yeah, is it just for the old characters? Because, yeah, those are way different. Hmm. And, yeah, the workbot frame looks like another workbot frame, maybe a different color. 3K? Holy sh... I've seen what Sonata's looked like. Yeah, Latch is here. Pretty sick. 3K. Man, you'd have to play a lot to get 3K. Wonder what Switch's other one is. Oh. Yeah, I bet they'll be adding costumes as DLC as well. 
Got some modes like volleyball and stuff like that. Pretty interesting. Curious to see what these sick beats are here. Yeah, November 5th is a Monday. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Let's go for the candy man. I say that uh, Saturday, November 3rd is Extra Life, and that this Thursday, like tomorrow, is when I'm doing my Grim Fandango thing. Oh, we're playing the game here. Wow, he is trashing me. No, I, the, I, there is no air for Grim Fandango. I'm playing it tomorrow, like it says in there. Alright, I'm going to look this up right now, and then get really angry when I wasted my time. Why will it not let me view the page? Oh, it does say that. That would be after Extra Life. So... Huh. Can I edit this right here? I don't think anyone's gonna read that far anyways. Why is this not letting me edit this? Good catch, J Money. Oh, sh All right, well. Oh, man. Well, this ruined this stream, huh? Because now I got to go do this thing. that it won't let me do. Now 
That's really annoying. It literally wouldn't let me change it on mobile. Alright, I fixed it. Return to this. Oh, he's gonna win. Boy, I am bad at this mode. But at least when I lose, I still get the 60 points for no reason. I never liked playing Candyman. I feel like everyone that I ever played with thought Candyman was like the greatest character ever. I could never stand him. And like everyone on the planet would play him online. Oh, that was my bad. Double jump. Alright, that time I did it. Oh man, Dice is in the Insane Asylum? Let's be Dice. I'd love ra way rather be Dice. Oh, he's breaking in? So yeah, the plot's super simple, but Are you ready? It seems pretty good. Dice is super so dumb, I love it! His angles are just... Oh. Ooh! Trash, boy. Yeah, and now I bet that people will think the Candyman is not as good because now that things don't kill in one shot anymore, unless the ball's going super fast, his super is not as nearly as good now. Oh man, that was some next level shit.
So at least the plot with Switch and Raptor made sense. This one, not so much. God, I do not like playing as Candyman at all. But at least when I finish this story part, I should be able to afford Grid. And then I'll only need to unlock Doombox. But yeah, if I like Grid half as much as I like playing Jet, I think the new characters are super cool. Ooh. Oh my god, see? I'm not used to that shit yet. Freaking bursts. I'm not even used to me being able to do that, let alone the opponent. Throwing out names like Rex and shit. We don't even know who they are. Oh my god, Dice! Dice is still too sick in this one. Yeah, I'm never really going to get a chance to test out uh, the parries, really. Because the AI is never going to get the ball to a high enough speed and then... be able to go back and forth with me for it to matter. Ooh. Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna have to look at the archive of this stream. The, uh, something totally weird is happening with the audio. Ooh, 
Ooh, I can play as Grid? Let's see. So you're the one to draw. Hopefully he's mad sick. I need him to be mad sick. He seems slow as hell. He is slow as hell. What? So he teleports. What is his, uh... He jumps pretty high. Oh. I think I do like Jet better, but I'll have to see how his super pans out. Oh man, he like teleports, so if you actually had an opponent who wasn't just standing around like this idiot... Hmm, I don't know how I f His second jump is way higher than his first. He like can barely jump for the first time. Slow compared to everyone else. Gonna be like a high skill level character. He doesn't really fit my personal play style with how slow he is. Oh, it's a bummer. I like his design. I want him to be, like, my jam. That's okay. I'll stick with Jet out of the new characters. Nitro, Nitro seems okay as well. I don't get how his teleport super... Is used. She jumps so high, she's so freaking fast. She's got the sick jetpack shit. This character's top notch. I wonder if she might be my new main. If I get oh, stupid football, I hate this power up. Super seems sick. Everything about it is awesome. Get out of here with this trash. Oh boy. Wow, so 
Sonata was just taking it there. I don't know how I feel about this. I have been playing all day, all day today on an Xbox One controller. I'm so used to playing on a PS4 controller with a D-pad, but I'm using an analog stick. I don't mind it. Do not mind it at all. I really, I need 50. I think I'll call it there. No, yeah, Jet is very much like Gum, and that's why I think it's crazy that she has the... that there's the Hideki Naganuma music in this, is because it's just like, she might as well just be Gum at that point. Um, but yeah, I I thought it was going to take a lot longer to get a thousand um, of the currency, uh, but it was basically just beating Arcade twice. See, man, what is happening with that? It's basically just beating Arcade once got me almost enough, and then I did some story. So, I mean, if you're just playing a bunch of matches, it seems like even if you lose, you get 50 or 60 currency. So, that's cool. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to mess around on stream for a little bit, because I haven't been streaming really at all. Just to kind of get back in the swing of things, because I want to start trying to stream more, but I don't know, this kind of defeats the purpose, because I'm going to stream today, and then tomorrow I'm going to do the Grim Fandango stream, and then we'll be doing Extra Life the week later, but I'm going on vacation, so I'm not going to really be able to stream very much. Um, thank you to everyone who watched this. Sorry about the weird gap in the middle there, but at least I know now that the Extra Life page says what it's supposed to, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.